Hello, my name is Count Lovenstein and I am going to do another random walk round of a second wife's son. Um, this one is by the inimitable Warren Bentham. Um, she does a dystopian, Lovecraftian, um, pretty superb creepy works. So let's just make sure I'm on shared environment. Um, so this one is called Hillvale, Dystopian Cyberpunk Metropolis. It's a thorny nook 2431283013. So let's have a look. Click me for info. No card, beach and phone rentals. Four hundred and fifty Londons for a rental that gives you a hundred and fifty prims is actually not too bad. No. Wow. Hillville. Not quite sure what way to go first here. That is really cool, nice 1950s tram. Really nice stylings here. Love this. Um, extremely run down 50s kind of theme. Almost looks as though it's an alternative 50s where there's been a, a nuclear war. Trumpeting truth for over 50 years. Pussy Coma. That toy has a very unique style. I recognise this place. This is a JPK Cowan food court. I've actually got one of them back at my uh, some Nice bits to explore in here. Maybe we need to get in a bit closer. Whoops, not that close. And there's a bed there for your avatar to cut down in. If you're um, really that sad that you put your avatar to bed before you log out of second life anyway, 
I can't imagine too many people going that far. Bit of scrap thing there. there because it looks somewhat suicidal. Somehow, this age walking in 50s at the same time looks kind of like something out of the Jetsons, maybe. Really love this level of detail. That's fantastic. What a drone overhead. Amazing. Warren Bentham is actually one of the people I've interviewed for my ongoing documentary project. I really do like her work. Just the sheer level of detail in here is absolutely amazing. And she's got some really cool gadgets. No, I'm not going to Fact man ghosts. Remember them well from being a kid. I 
and a uh, hovering step through Moped. Before there's been some kind of cyber mod revival. No, if I don't have it, I must be doing something wrong. Taking low life of cyberpunk here.
Bentham Vaughan Vintage Radio. Random continuous play. I don't think I've ever seen a free war radio in the flesh. I don't know if you'd be able to even receive anything on them nowadays. If you build, it actually kind of reminds me of the way you might work in Unreal or Unity. I wonder if she's got any games design experience or background. I remember discussing that with her when we did the interview about I can't remember exactly what she said, so I need to go back to it. Another nice NPC. Seen a robot very similar to that in a film in Netflix called Mother. Uh, you do not want to get on the wrong side of it. It wasn't even a robot, it was an AI that controlled um, a very large multitude of robots. Some real skill. And I don't know if people watching it who um, aren't familiar with Second Wife might not even appreciate just how fucking good this is. It's not like working Unity where you just buy a ready built Cyber City and Plank it in the ground like um, this would have to be put down a piece at a time. Just fantastic, the combination of tech and old decrepit stuff and um, you know, undergrowth coming back and shit lying around, absolutely wonderful. Not another one of those robots. Sushi bar, you can't have a cyberpunk sim without a sushi bar, that would just not be on. That goes right back to Gibson and Boyd Runner.
Formosic Panacea. Not even sure what the hell this is, but it does look cool. Goldstein's Wands, Main Street. Always like what she does with time. Like there's, there's stuff here from different times, long times, different periods and history that just do not belong with each other but um, she manages to make it acceptable and believable. Heading back to the beginning, but yeah, absolutely fucking amazing. Artistic talent. Relax. Very impressive. There's some of our other. Um, just wondering if I've got enough time in my hands at the moment to. Uh, have a walk round another one or whether I should leave it for another day. I'll leave it for another day and keep them separate. Uh, I don't expect people to have enough stamina to I'll listen to Megan Don for an unlimited period of time. <laughs> 